Lite there. Today we're unboxing a Wi-Fi light bulb. So this particular one has an interesting option from the others I've reviewed in the past. So it actually has a music mode and that music mode allows you to sync it with music. So details are in the description below for anyone thinking of purchasing. So let's take a quick look around the packaging. So some details here in the corner. So 6.5 watts power usage on there. So smartphone control multicolor so multicolor bulb on there and it's an led bulb if i come around here you've got some qr codes one for the google play store and the other one for the app store and the app you'd want is magic home pro some details on here how to restore the bulb back to factory defaults and how to connect to wi-fi so just to note it only supports 2.4 g wi-fi details there about the product but in summary it's dimmed via the app, it's Wi-Fi enabled, obviously you know you can set timers on there, lumen value is 500, life of it is 20,000 hours, 16 million, million colors supported, instant bright light, and the base is a screw-on base. Okay, it can be controlled via Google Assistant and the Amazon Alexa. Okay, if I come around, just a general picture and nothing more. Okay, so let's open it up, see what we get in the packaging. So the bulb and actually nothing else. So in terms of the actual bulb itself, sizing wise, if I bring the ruler as low as possible and show it there, we're saying about 12 and a half centimeters and at the widest point here, so about seven. So not too large. Build quality seems reasonable, bit of weight to it, not too light, not feeling cheap and nasty. If I come in here, RGWB Wi-Fi, so RGBW, and nothing more on there. Obviously, the screw-on attachment, and that's it. Build quality seems good. Okay, so let's make a start at setting up this Wi-Fi bulb. So I've got a cable here with a three-pin plug and a connector for the bulb. So we'll connect this up in a moment. Initially, let's install the app. So if I go to my Android phone and the Play Store, and we want to search for magic home pro so if i click on that then select install let's give it a moment okay so now it's installed let's click open and this is dialog we're presented with so it says click here to add a device so if i click there we have these options add device add group so let's go for add device next it's asking for a sign in so this is to enable you to use remote connectivity so let me sign up an account and we'll carry on after okay, that. Okay, so I've registered an account. Let's sign in now. So I'll just click here and there you go. Next it's asking allow Magic Home to access this device location. We'll click allow. Okay, next it says turn on the light and select it from the list below. So let me plug in the bulb. Okay, now that's plugged in. Let me connect the cable. So the socket's now plugged in, you see the light come on. Now, if I do a refresh, let's give it a moment, it's not appearing. So to reset it, we have to unplug it, wait a few seconds, plug it in, and do that about three to four times. And there you go, it's flashed a few times. So now it's ready for config. So if I do a refresh, there you go, it's appeared. So I'll click it, let's let it connect. So give it a moment. Okay, now it's asking which Wi Fi to connect with. So let's select my test Wi Fi network. So let me add in the Wi Fi password off camera. Okay, so I've entered in my Wi-Fi password, so let me click confirm. Let's give it a moment. Now it's trying to connect. That's a good sign, the color's changed. Okay, so there you go, it's successfully added. So if I just click done, but before that I can rename it if I wanted to. Okay, so there you go, it's added in now. So you've got devices at the top here and you can collapse that or expand it. You've got groups as well. You can group multiple bulbs together 
and you've got scenes as well. So if I have multiple bulbs, for instance, and I click here, it can turn them all off in conjunction. Next, if I click on the individual one, you can turn it on and off via that. If I click in there, it goes into the interface for the bulb. So if I now move and select a color, it should give a representation of that color. Brightness wise, we can dim it down as the minimum, obviously, and just slowly go up higher. You can go for a, a warm white color, cool white color if you wanted. Now, if we look at the top, you can see a timer icon. This is quite clever. So if I click on create timer, you've got two types of timers, a normal timer and a sunset, sorry, a sunrise sunset timer. So let's go to normal one. So this is just your standard timer. You can say at certain time, just turn on or off, for instance. So the action is turn off at the moment. You can change it to one of these. Okay. And just to note, you can select a different thing. So at a certain time, you can say you want it to change color. So that's quite clever. I haven't seen that before. And if I do the other timer, the sunrise sunset timer. So this is the clever one. So you can set a timer to come on with the brightness at minimal and a brightness eventually reaching a certain level. So 100% in this case, but I can even take that down. So I can say over a period of 30 minutes or an hour, I want the light to gradually come on. Or you can take it the other way. You could say it's at 100% and you want it to dim down over a period of 60 minutes. So really clever, actually. I think that's quite good. So in the morning, if you don't want to be suddenly woken up with a bright light coming on, you could just have this. So I do like this idea. Okay, let's go back, go back again. And let's look at the options down below. So you've got DIY here. So you can save the actual color you have selected. So let's pick, say, a blue, for instance. And if I hold on to that, it saves it. Let's pick another one, another one. So the idea being, you click it, and you just flip between the colors. So nice, I do like this functionality. Next, you've got night light. So what you can do with here, similar thing, just pick your color, warm to cool, and then you can just save it in the DIY bit. And you can just override it like that. So you can just flip between the different values. And again, that should save the brightness as well. It's 100% on that one, you can see, and 22% on that. So really good functionality. Next, functions. So if I click that, these are the standard functions you have. So if I click on the top one, for instance, seven color crossfade. So if I speed that up, it's just going to transition between the different colors. And these are the different ones you've got going on here. And as well as that, you've got the flashing strobe ones as well. And seven color jumping change. So it's just a sudden change. And then you've got custom. So you can actually create your own sort of um, fading effects or color schemes you wanted. So there's the options you have. So you can pick your color and gradual jumping or strobe and you can set a speed on there as well so nice bit of functionality okay so next let's move on to mic so this is an interesting one so it's asking me to allow magic home to record audio now the idea behind this is this is where the music cut sync comes into it so if you've got this option selected and you've got music playing it'll actually synchronize the light to work in conjunction with the music. So let me show that in a bit, only because, because I'm doing a screen record on my phone, obviously that's taking precedence of the actual mic and not allowing the app to use it. So I'll have to put the phone in front of the camera instead of doing a screen record. Okay, next is music. So you can select music and play it directly off the app as well. So that's available as well. So you have two options available, which is really good. So background noise, music playing, and it can synchronize to that. Or you can have music playing directly on the phone. So both are good options and gives you that versatility. Obviously, you can flip between the two. So you don't have to rely on using its music player, for example. Okay, next one is an interesting one. So if I select it now, it's camera. And what you can do, you can take a picture of a color and that color can be used on the actual 
bulb. So if I bring the phone over and click capture, there you go, it's gone red. So really cool, you can actually just pick a color and obviously just select it. So that's the basic options you have on there. Now if I go back and show in here, you've got device manager, if I click in there, I select the actual bulb, these are the options you have available. So if I click device information, you've got basic details there, name, firmware version, MAC address, IP address. If I click on there, you can rename it. If I go back now, click it again, remote settings. So you can actually disable the remote connectivity on this just by clicking that box. Also, it shows the account that's linked. Okay, we'll go back, go back again. If I click on there, you've got help as well. Let's give it a second. Basic details there. And if I go in there, it shows you different help options. It's pretty straightforward through these bulbs. Okay, Amazon Alexa, if I click on there, details on connecting to that. And let's go back. And again, same for Google Assistant and IFTTT applets and about. Okay, details there. And that's it. Simple as that to use and control. Okay, so next, let me show the remote connectivity and see if it works. So if I drop down here, turn off my Wi-Fi, take it back up, let it connect to 4G and it's connected and let's change color. Give it a moment. Nope, it's come out. It's connecting in the background, you can see. Okay. And there you go. No ports to open, remote connectivity via the cloud available. There you go, excellent functionality. Okay, so next, I wanted to show the music sync. So this is quite a cool function on here. So if I go up to mic, and if I just speak, you can see the actual colors changing and moving accordingly. So now if I drop this down and just turn on some music, this is just from my phone. How cool is that? not seen uh, just a standalone bulb without any microphone built in with music sync on there. So nice bit of functionality here, but just to note, it does require an additional device. So your mobile to actually pick up the noise on there. So got to be aware of that. And obviously with the music one, you can select a track and play it directly off the device. So I'm not going to do that because it's just demonstrate the same thing. Okay, so next I'm gonna show the music sync working with a Bluetooth speaker. So I've got Zenbri Z8 Plus here, already paired up with my mobile phone. I'm gonna hit the play button here. And just to show it in action, turn the music up. Just to know, you've got an option on there, back to device list or running in the background. So you could actually just leave the app running in the background without having the screen on. So that's quite useful to have. And it'll be listening in to the music and obviously working in sync with that. So very cool functionality there. Okay, so next I'm going to show how to set up this smart bulb with both the Google Home and the Amazon Alexa. So I'm on my smartphone and let's go for the Amazon Alexa first. So I've got the app here, let me start it up. Next we want to click in the corner here, go to skills and games and we want to search for a skill called Magic Home. And it's this one here, okay, and that's the one. If I click on there and we want to click enable to use. Okay, so next, let me in, enter in my username and password okay, off camera. I've clicked authorize. And there you go, successfully linked. Let's click never remember for that. And uh, click on the X there. And click discover devices. Okay, so it's found the devices, the other ones on my network as well. So if I click on devices here, let's click on lights. And there it is, bulb. So if I click on that, there you go. You can change the brightness, make it bright again, set a color. So I can pick the predefined colors here. 
as simple as that. Okay, and if I go back, I can rename it, so I can give it a, a nickname if I wanted to. So if I edit that, okay, and we can rename it to Bedroom Light, for instance. Okay, there you go, it's renamed. So if I now unmute my echo dot, and I can say, turn off bedroom light. Okay. Turn on bedroom light. Okay. Change bedroom light color to green. Okay. Change bedroom light brightness to 1%. Okay. Change bedroom light brightness to 50%. Okay. There you go. Simple as that to set up with the Amazon Alexa and control as well. Okay, so next I'm gonna show how to set up this smart bulb to work with the Google Home. So I've got the Home app here, if I click on that, Next, we want to click in the corner here and settings followed by assistant, then home control. Next, we want to click on the plus icon here and search for magic home. Okay, and we'll pick magic home Wi-Fi. Next, let me add in my account details. Off okay, camera, I've clicked authorize and it's just authorizing in the background and linking. And there you go, it's added in. So I can assign to a room. If I click done on that, click understood. We should be able to see it if I scroll down. There you go, it's that one there, Magic Home Wi-Fi. So if I click on it, I can give it a nickname. So let's do the same as before and call it Bedroom Light. And we'll click OK to that. And there you go, it's renamed. If I go back. And if we come out now, and we go back in, we should see it in here. There you go, just here, bedroom light. Give it a moment to connect. Okay, so that's linked, so I can change the brightness. I can take it down again. I can change the color from here as well. So let's take the brightness up, pick a different color. Here you go, simple as that. Dark red and I can make it brighter. That's maximum brightness. So very similar to what you can do on the Amazon Alexa. So if I click here, can rename it as well and unlink it. Okay, so now if I unmute my Google Home. The microphone is back on. I can say, change bedroom light color to green. All right, changing the bedroom light to green. Turn off bedroom light. All right, turning the bedroom light off. Turn on bedroom light. Sure, turning the bedroom light on. Change bedroom light brightness to 50%. Sure, setting the bedroom light brightness to 50%. Change bedroom light brightness to 10%. All right, setting the bedroom light brightness to 10%. There you go, simple as that to connect to and set up with the Google Home. Okay, so next I wanted to show the light in action in a room that is quite dark. So I've closed the blinds in the room just to give you a rough idea. So it isn't pitch dark. You can see some light bleeding through the actual blind. But if I turn the light on on warm white, so I'll just click here, it does give a nice amount of brightness. Cool white isn't so bright. I know you're getting a blue sort of glow in the actual recording, but it isn't blue. It's quite um, a pale white in terms of color. If I go to one of the color settings, obviously on max brightness, it's reasonable. And I've noticed with most colored lights, um, the colors are normally quite dull. So just to show. So not a biggie, obviously, you have to be aware, obviously, if you're gonna buy this thing, so.
there you go. Hope it's given a good idea of the sort of levels you get out of this. Okay, so you've seen the unboxing and setup of this Wi-Fi bulb. Very simple to set up and use. Works with both the Google Home and the Amazon Alexa and can work remotely as well. Interesting, you can even disable the remote connectivity if you felt uneasy having that on. It has an interesting feature which is the music sync which you don't find in most of these other devices. So quite pleased with that. Something different to show from the norm. So there you go. Hope it's helped anyone thinking of purchasing this. Details are in the description below. Thanks for viewing and don't forget to like and subscribe.